I'm going to show how I make my own drumsticks. These are made out of oak dowel rods and these are made out of popular dowel rods. Let's get started. And how to do it. Um, this I bought, it's a 5 8 inch oak dowel rod. Uh, let's see, it was 36 inches long. The drumsticks I'm going to be making are 16, so I've actually already cut one 16 inch one out of this dowel rod. I'm going to cut another one. I've put it into the vise and I'm going to use a hacksaw. They have a real fine blade and uh, it, they work real well for cutting. So I'm going to try and cut it as perpendicular as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I also wanted to show you how long this will take. It's a little bit past 1230 right now. And uh, first off, I'm going to take this is a file. This, it's, this one is not as coarse as this end. This end I can start with. That'll take off a lot of uh, wood in a hurry. And then I can go to this one as finer. Then I have this one is even finer still. And you don't need much many tools to do this, so I just want to round off the uh, non-business end of the drumstick and I'm on the little bit smoother, not as coarse side. Just rounding that off. I'm going to try this file. Oops. That is one of my wooden blocks I made up for my vise. Piece of sheet metal bent at a 90, couple screws into a piece of wood. That way when I put it in the, into the vise it won't damage this wood at all. If you just use a plain vise and tighten it down, there's a waffle pattern in here and here. For added grip, which if you're working with metal or something like that, that's great, but for wood you don't want the waffle pattern in the wood so I made up these been using these for years they work great now on the other end I'm going to measure half an inch And this will be the, uh, the stick tip. I want to draw a line all the way around. And I want to cut in with the hacksaw 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to measure from the teeth up three sixteenths put a piece of tape on there so I know how far to cut I'm gonna put the stick back into the vise I'll use the tapes on the other side but I'm gonna use that as a guide of how far down I want to cut all the way around. And I cut down to the tape and then I'm going to cut all the way around it. I'm 
Now I've, I've cut all the way around down in 3 sixteenths of, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Now I want to taper this down so it ends up being like this. And uh, you can use uh, the coarse file. It works, but it's going to take a lot of time. Oh, I also wanted to mention this doll rod was $2.50, so very, very reasonable price. I'm going to use a draw knife to remove this wood, and I'm just removing up to where I cut in from the end. I don't want to remove, actually I need to remove a little bit of this, but I'm not going to do that now. I just want to take out and make this taper. So I'm going to very carefully work up to that cut line. If I'm uh, putting too much pressure on the draw knife pulling towards me, I could bust, take this right off too. So you got to be really, really careful. But like I said, you could use just the file will work. It just takes longer. So I'm going to clean this up and be back. Taking that down as far as I want to go with the draw knife. Now take the fairly coarse file. around and smoothen that out. And you can spend as much or little time on that as you want. If you make it perfect, they look like drumstick purchased in a store online, but uh, they look kind of rough. You can tell then that it's handmade. So now this end, I want to work on rounding this down. I need to reduce the diameter a bit, and then I want to round off this side and this side. I'm going to go a little bit coarser here. this edge I'm going to keep working on that it pretty much the way I want it and, and doing it by hand you can customize you know how you want the drumsticks how big you want to make the tip you can make this taper longer or shorter depending one thing I wanted to show you if you're using a pretty coarse file sometimes even the finer one if you're going this way which I don't recommend because what can happen is it can catch and you can chip out a big piece of the wood you want to work the file this way same thing here you can go kind of across because you don't have any choice here you can't go down like this but there don't even use the course use the finer one and just work around that and then for the finish the, the real fine file cleans it up really nice you can sand that down a little bit next thing 
I'm going to sand it down, put a coat of clear polyurethane on it. That'll uh, protect it from sweat from your hands, discoloration, and it, it really brings out the wood grain also because it, it makes, basically makes the wood look like it's wet, but it's not. It's, and polyurethane is basically just liquid plastic. And uh, I need to make another stick. I've got that filed down to the way I want it. And uh, one o'clock. It took me about a half an hour to do one stick. Figure an hour to do two, probably a little bit more. I'm using all hand tools. You could you could speed this up if you used a power sander to, to remove this wood. And you could you could do some work on this tip too. And that would probably speed the process up faster. Uh, though with power tool you're gonna have to be really careful but uh, they would definitely work. You're not really removing a ton of wood here. I like to use the hand tools just because I have more control that way. I'm gonna make a drumstick out of, this is popular. This is 5 8 inch diameter. This one was uh, four feet long. I've cut off 16 inches off of it already. It's a popular doll rod. I believe this was a dollar fifty. I want to see how the popple feels to the oak. And I'll get started on that. I've completed the the poplar drumstick, and and poplar is considered a softwood versus this is the oak, and this is considered a hardwood. And I I tr I tried playing with them, and the oak's a little bit heavier. And I like the feeling of the oak better than the popple. There isn't a huge amount of difference. You know, you could try it for yourself, see which one you like better. But, uh, you know, I have, oh, two, five, three, four bucks to make four drumsticks. I, I looked online at how much they are. What I found was 10 to $30 for a, a pair of drumsticks so you know it costs you to make two out of oak two dollars and fifty cents and uh you gonna buy them it's gonna be 20 and 30 bucks so uh, and it takes you about an hour worth of time but it's you know something you could develop your woodworking skills or if you're a good work woodworker you shouldn't have any problem making this and even for a beginner it's not very hard to do it it'll, it'll take you longer to do it but um and it really helps if you have either look online at what the drumsticks look like or else borrow one from a friend or if you have one and you can shape it to exactly the same way or really close to it of what you have. And there are the finished drumsticks. Yeah, fun project. You can customize them to make the tips and different lengths what you want, the tapers, all those things. Uh, be sure and like this video, subscribe, share, leave a comment below, and check out my other videos. Have a great day.